Now I'm going to show you the new features of the Mix Console, and to get to the Mix Console, go into Devices and choose Mix Console or type F3 on your computer keyboard, and now we're looking at the full Mix Console. It's also important to note that a lot of users don't realize that there are three different and fully configurable versions of the Mix Console. It's been that way in Cubase for a long time, but it's just important to note that when you type F3, you get the first Mix Console, then there are two other ones that you can configure in the exact same way that I'm about to show you here. So some people like to use the second mix console for all of their audio tracks and the third one for all of their MIDI or instrument tracks, but you can configure those any way that you want. So now let's talk about the focus zones that they've added to the mix console, and they're very, very similar to how they're used in the project window. So in this particular setup that we're looking at right now, we're looking at four individual zones. There's the first zone on the left, second zone on the top, third zone down here on the bottom, and the fourth zone over here on the right. So one, two, three, four, and they're thought about as left, top, bottom, and right. And these are controlled the same way as they are in the project window because the mix console has the same window layout setup buttons right here. So you can see that one of them is on the left, one of them is on the top, and one of them is on the right. So when you click on the left button, it will hide the inspector on the left focus zone. And then to re-enable it, just click that button again. And right now we have the channel racks revealed, but if you'd rather have taller faders, then you can hide the channel racks and get big faders. And if you didn't need to see the control room and meter options here on the right focus zone, then you'd click on that button to remove that as well. And just like it's done in the project window, moving the border or the focus around each zone is handled by using the keyboard shortcuts of tab or shift tab. So tab moves you forward through the tabs, and it's cyclical. It will always go around through the cycle. But when you hold down shift and tab, it will always go backwards and stop at the left zone. And just a reminder that you don't have to use the tab and shift tab options because when you click on any of the controls in a zone, it moves the focus around with it. So those are the focus zones in the mix console. Next, let's talk about the undo redo history.